Toops is my favourite player. Uh, very humble. I've got one word, and that is gentleman. showed up in the biggest moments uh, over the last 10 to 12 years that he's put the jersey on. Tupo and Williams. Tupo! Oh, Daniel Tupo! Tupo make it! The Daniel Tupo! Probably one of the most humble, nicest men you'll ever meet. The way he carries himself around, um, sort of that gentle giant. Um, but then when he goes on the field, he's a beast too, so. Yeah, he just gets his job done, um, no matter what, uh, and has done for so many years. And I just feel so comfortable and confident, you know, whenever I'm at the back and I'm out there with Toops. One of the, one of the best players I, I've played with. I can't say enough good things about him. I would not be the player that I am without Toops. Toops has made me a better player. I feel like it's been one of the, uh, the great memories of, of, especially my time here, has been Toops and the way that he's played and developed. Pings a high one up, it's a one-on-one -on -one competition and Tupo wins that every day of the week. He owned the air, he was an aerial artist. He's owned the air for over a decade now. Um, I remember talking to BMOZ about how scared he, he was used to coming up against Tupes because you know what you're in for that week. I've been lucky enough to have sort of front row with that. We've been on the left edge with him for all that time and um, yeah, it's, it's been amazing to, to watch his journey. And but He's um, sort of mastered his craft, especially on their wing. and. Um, yeah, this is a great lesson for, for myself and a lot of other players. Keary with a kick, Tupo's there, they've got their second. I accidentally kicked the ball early, a big long crossfield kick is to Toops, and I remember I kicked it too early. It was going dead and Toops just reached out and grabbed it, like it was, it was unbelievable. The 18 grand final one's the same, I think I just threw the ball out there and Toops come from nowhere, grabbed the ball and scored. First one that springs to memory is the 2013 grand final. Um, yeah, jumping up over the wolf man. Dying at 39,000 feet. We have it on top. And no turbulence to be found. Yeah, he scored our first try for us, but we were under the pump that first half. Manly had scored first, and, and that really sparked us up uh, to go on and uh, win that match. So, you know, that, 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 you know, there's been probably so many other spectacular ones, but. That one was probably the most important. I don't know how he caught that ball, but yeah, I think that was sort of early days in his career too, so. He scored or assisted tries on all our three grand final wins. Obviously, uh, the high ball catch, the pass over the top uh, from Keary, and then the pass back inside for Teddy. Um, they've, they've been big moments, so he's nailed his execution on the big moments. But one of the ones I still remember 2022, he got, you know, he's diving for the corner like most people do, but he absolutely, I forget what player it was, absolutely chopped his arm, but Toops' detail on his grip had the ultimate grip and put it down. I felt like that we had a still shot in our office, which typified uh, the skill and execution of that play. it up and scores anyway. To say in 116 years that he's going to be our top try scorer is such a proud moment for everyone who's a part of it and definitely for himself. You know, um, you know his, his partner and his family are all so proud of him and you know, that's all he wants to do. I think make his family proud and do the best job he can do and that's what he, he does at every game, whether it's Roosters, Origin or for Australia or Tonga. Yeah, it doesn't really care about anything external, he cares about his job and, and his teammates and, and that's probably why he's gone on and been able to be in positions and, and score tries the way he has. He's everything you want to be as a man. He is you know, honest, loyal, he turns up every day, he'll do anything you ask him to, he's tough and I'd be proud if like my son screw up to be like Toops and he's just, I love Toops. <laughs> for the Roosters to score their second try. Kiri kicking for Tupo. He's got it and they're in. The Roosters do get their seconds. Daniel Tupo now 
is the most prolific try scorer in Roosters history. Oh, I think it's 100% deserved. You know, I, I, I couldn't ask for a better player to, to, you know, hand that record over to him. You know, he's worked so hard his whole career. He's one club player. Uh, and, and that's what we want at the Roosters. Hopefully more one club players that want to stay here for their whole career and, and try and win premierships and be loyal to the club. And he's done that for many years now. And, you know, we, we were texting the other week and, you know, I heard an interview and he's so humble. He's like, oh, I almost don't want to get it because of, of myself, you know. And I texted him and said, mate, don't be silly. Don't you dare say that. You go after it and you get, you get that record, you know. Uh, I'm only too happy to, to hand it over to him because he's such a good bloke.